uh, hello all so today uh, we will see the uh, first exercise which is in the uh, precad drawing so the first uh, problem uh, it was asked that to reproduce the drawing in precad it means that whatever the drawing uh, is shown here the same way we have to reproduce it in uh, precad right now uh, if you look at on this uh, drawing so majorly there are uh, three parts so that is uh, this one and then this uh, bottom circles and then these two circles and also uh, and this is symmetric about this vertical axis okay so just if you draw this and you do mirror then we can get it easily okay so first we will concentrate on this a uh, larger one and then we will move on to this smaller circles so if you look into this uh, larger diagram so there are uh, three circles of radius 40 radius 32 radius uh, 21 right so first we'll construct these three circles and then by means of other tools we will uh, convert into this kind of slots so first circle is uh, radius of 40 okay uh, first uh, take the uh, circle option and then uh, click a random point on the workbench so before going to that just uh, make sure that you your workbench should be on top view okay now take the circle and then create a circle and give a radius as 40. Okay, now convert this into wireframe mode. So that wireframe mode is available in the uh, view option, that is under the display options. If you drop down here, you will see a wireframe, select that. That will be converted to uh, why the complete circle similarly we'll draw other two circles so that is a radius 32 so take a circle option so just you place over now to know the center point you just place your cursor on the uh, the bigger circle and then if you just move uh, its uh, periphery you will find the center point then if you click it then you can draw the another circle which is of radius 32 32 now this also convert into wireframe now this smaller circle is radius 21 go to circle radius 21 convert this into wireframe okay now if we zoom into this uh, circles all the circles they are like it seems to be like uh, lines connected to two points it means that we are encountering the sharp edges so we want to remove this uh, sharp kind of edges so how to do that first select the circle so it will be get highlighted with the green color if you come into the, this property uh, tree if you scroll down here we have object style it means so this is it consider this an object so what kind of styling having so angular deflection it is by default is given 28.5 so make it into one degree so this is the least value which we can give you. You enter. Then 
deviation is given as 0 0.5, make it as 0 0.01, then enter. Now, if you zoom in, see the sharp edges are uh, converted into a smoother line, right? Now, similarly, we can make it for other two circuits. So, we need not to do individually. You can just select both the circles by using control option. So, first select the circle and then uh, press control tab and then select this circle. Now, we can do at a time for the both the circuits. So, angular deflection is 1 degree, deviation is 0 0.01. Okay, now these two also uh, looks like a smoother curve. Okay. Now we have got the, the major, uh, like the rough uh, circles, which we want to produce this kind of shape. Now, uh, if you look into vertical axis, it is passing through the uh, arc. So, but actually we want to make the <laughs> slots. So the slot width is given as 8 mm, right? So it is difficult us to construct in the some angular position. So uh, take the slot which is having some reference. See the horizontal axis, it has some reference. So if you uh, divide this slot into by 2, so the upper half will be 4 mm and bottom part will be 4 mm. Then by using uh, array option, we can create the rest of the slots. So first we will create the uh, horizontal axis. So go to line option. So first figure uh, to just find out the midpoint here. Then we just uh, place it over onto the mid circle. So if you want to uh, exactly uh, it, the line has to end on the uh, the midpoint of the mid circle. So just make it to be highlighted. Once it gets highlighted, then you can stop it. Yeah. Okay. Now it has been joined these two circuits. Now I want to uh, make the slot into eight mm width. So I'll use the offset offset option. So to make the uh, 8 mm width, so first select this line, then choose offset option, then come to the workbench and then place over the line. Then by using uh, tab button, you just give 4 mm, and then uh, make sure this copy is enabled or selected. So then only this line will be. <coughs> copied and uh, it will be uh, situated 4 mm above the line 4 mm and then you enter similarly for the bottom select the line and give offset uh, drag it down and then give 4 mm then enter okay. now we can delete this line now, if you zoom in, this is not uh, intersected with this circuit, even bottom also. So we have to extend the line towards the uh, smaller circuit. So for that, we will use option called trim or extend option. So to use that option, first select the line, then use the uh, trim or extend object then since we don't know the distance we will highlight the we will zoom in and then we will project until the circle gets highlighted then once the circle gets highlighted with the yellow color then you give uh, click it will be exactly meets the small circle similarly for the bottom also so click the line uh, trim or extend option then uh, we just place over the cursor on the uh, smaller circle. Then keep OK. Now, 
here the line extended uh, some length beyond the uh, mid circuit we want to trim this so we are going to use same option to trim also so first select the line and then go to trim option then you just select the mid circle So I just uh, take this and offset four mm. Extend. So select the line. So the trim option. This is not happening. Okay, select the line, trim option. So we want until here. Yeah. Then same thing here also. Good. Select the line. So trim option until here. <laughs> so, yeah. So or else uh, you can just take this and then give offset to 8 and then you can uh, do this then delete this line okay now if you look at in the diagram so we don't have the the mid circuit and this small circuit so we'll just delete that circuits so first i delete this now i want to uh, make this kind of slots in six positions so uh, how many are there one uh, three six so select this option then go to array so if you uh, drop down here you will get a polar array option so number of elements to be six and then do the center uh, of the circuit so you get uh, six same thing for the other line also again polar array number of elements six and then select the center of the circuit okay now, once after getting all these slots, we can remove this smaller circuit, right? Now, we want to make this width or this arc, the arc which is connecting to these two uh, vertical lines and the bottom, these two endpoints. So, for that, we will use the arc option. So, select the arc, then we have to uh, get the center. So I take this uh, larger circuit center. So once the center is highlighted, then you can click. So you can give the radius, which is means that the end points. So the end points are, so if you just place onto this uh, vertical line, it will be highlighted with the white dot. Then you can click it. And then you can move until to the other 
uh, sorry, this end. So why? Because we want R uh, here and here. then you can produce an arc okay once the white dot highlighted then you can stop it by clicking there the same thing we do for the bottom also go to arc you get the center then you find the uh, radius and this is on this now the arc starts from the other end so from there to here. Then once we highlight it, then give OK. Now, same thing you can give polar array for other. So before that, we will do the few changes. That is, select the arc. That angular deflection is 1 degree. Uh, radiation is 0 0.0. Now for here also, angular deflection 1 degree. Deviation. 0.0. Now select this arc, go to polar array, number of division element 6, and get the center. Same thing for the bottom curve. Polar array, number of elements should be 6, and get the center. See? Now, we have got this complete uh, drawing. This part alone we have drawn. Now, uh, the remaining thing is the tangents and then the bottom circles. So either we can draw this or this, then you can do mirroring. So either it is possible, we can do that. So first I will draw this half, then I will make a uh, mirror, then automatically it will cover you. So now we first of all we want to mark the center uh, points of these two concentric circles, right? So this concentric circles are located 40 mm below the larger concentric circles, and and then this 110 mm left side to the vertical axis and this smaller circle is 80 mm below the uh, horizontal line and then 40 mm to the left of the uh, this vertical axis right then first of all we will create the center points and then we will draw the concentric circles so first you create 40 down uh, and then uh, 55 to its left. So take a line. So you find the midpoint until the here. Then take another line, find the center, then draw. If you just uh, Project it down and then by using tab option, you go to the length. So length is 80 mm. Uh, first, we'll take 80 mm. Sorry, uh, 40. And then from here, forty. Totally 80. Right? Now, so this smaller circle is away from 40 mm, away from the uh, vertical axis. This uh, larger concentric circle is 110 by 2, that is 55 mm, away from the uh, vertical axis. So then, for that, I will take the offset option. So you just select the uh, line and then choose offset. So offset only works on one object at a time. So I have selected two, so that's why it is taking two. Select this, 
okay so i'll uh, completely i will take uh, ap that will be easier AT. So select this offset. So I'll take the left side. So first one is 40 mm. And then select this again, give offset to the 55. Now draw a line which uh, covers now select this line uh, this forty mm below and then again forty mm below. So select this line go to offset so drag it down then first u 40 then enter then select this line again go to offset again give 40 mm then you just drag it down 40 mm. okay now so this is the center of the smaller concentric circle and this is center for the the uh, second uh, concentric circuit okay so the uh, radius of the circles has been given here the outer circle radius is 20 mm and the inner radius is uh, 10 mm you select the uh, circle option so find the uh, center so give the radius of 20 mm and then give enter then convert this into wireframe again go to circuit again find the center then the radius 10 mm then convert into wireframe now here the smaller the outer circle is 16 mm radius and smaller inner circle is 8 mm radius again select the circle so find the midpoint give the radius as 16 mm convert this into wireframe now again go to circle 8 mm radius again convert this into wireframe now we just uh, delete all the unnecessary lines so we'll take that Now, again, we will uh, we look into this. This will be of uh, sharper edges. So we will convert them into smoother. So by control, I'll select all the circles. Uh, the angular deviation deflection is 1 degree. Deviation is 0 0.01. Then give enter. OK. Now here itself, uh, I will draw the tangents, then completely we can uh, give the mirror. So for that, go to line option. So make sure that your uh, options should be enabled. That is the snap angle. Now once if you just uh, place over the cursor on your circle, at some point, it will be showing you the snap option. 
it will be highlighted. Then from there, you just star and then uh, project it onto the, uh, the smaller circle like a tangent. Then give OK. Same thing for the bottom. You just start uh, placing over your cursor on the outer circle. It will be showing the uh, snap angle option. Then you can stop. So we got such uh, thing. Now we will create the axis. So take the line option for so this uh, draw till this half and similarly other half okay. again same thing uh, for other side okay. now once getting uh, this kind so just select the lines Now we have, we have to, uh, why? Because the center line is a long dashed line. For that, we have to convert this into such shape. Yeah. So here, under the object style, we have another uh, term is draw style. So just drop down there, you will be getting four different types of lines. So select dash dot line. Okay. Then automatically it, it will be convert into dash dot again. So once if I finish here, then everything it can be selected once and then we can uh, convert them into dash dot lines. the horizontal axis okay now select all the rest of the lines by using control option you can convert them into axis go to uh, the uh, draw style select dash dot now we have got the center now select all these uh, <coughs> objects the line uh, the tangents this one everything Now all the, uh, the parts has been selected. Now go to mirror option. Now, so here we have to give the, the uh, reference axis or above which it can be mirrored. So for that, you need to select this vertical line. So we have to be mirrored on this particular vertical axis. Okay, so for that, you need to select the two end points. So one is highlighted the top, and then the bottom. Okay, so once you get highlighted, everything will be mirror. Right? Then the next part is this uh, arc, radius of 24. So again, go to uh, arc. So select the center. 
then get the end points and this end point and then you start drawing the curve. Now we just delete this line. Now we will make access for this uh, the larger circle. Now select all the lines. then convert into dash dot line. Okay. Yeah. Now we have to the remaining part is the dimension. So here we have a tool three a dimension. So select this option. So first we want to have the distance between these two smaller circles. So select the center of the concentric circle here and then here then you can just drag down okay so this again and select the center the center yeah now we have got 80 so we need to do certain modifications here so select the dimension line Here, the arrow size to be converted into 1 mm and the extension lines. So this will give 1.5 mm. Extension overshoot is also 1.5 mm. Then font size to be 5 mm. And then under the units, show unit, you just give faults. So we don't want to have that mm and the decimal values. So give false. It will be 80. Yeah. So this is the uh, what is given in the manual. Similarly, for all other dimensions. Again, take the dimensions, get the center and just center, and then drag it down. Okay. So once if you create all the dimensions, then we can do at a time for the others. So and this center and the, this center. See here it is showing the angular dimensions, but in the manual it is given in vertical vertical. So to get into vertical direction, you just uh, use shift option. And then you move your cursor sideways. Then you can get into vertical uh, dimension. Then you click. Then similarly for the other uh, dimension also. This one. Okay. So again, shift. Thank you. Now. I'll select all these three at a time and then do the modifications. So arrow size is one mm. Uh, extension line is 1.5 mm. Overshoot is 1.5 mm. Font size is 5 mm. And then uh, we don't want to show the units of parts. And here the units has been given uh, above the dimension line. Okay, so here it is given below. So this is okay. So it's not a problem. So first then we need to flip this text. So for doing that, you just first click on the workbench sideways, it will be unselected. Now select only these two dimension lines. Then here we have under the text, flip text option is there. So convert that into true. So it will be flipped above the dimension. 
Now, the, we, for the rest of the thing is the uh, radius part. So for that, again, go to dimension line. So first, get the center of the circle. And then again, we just place over the cursor on the uh, periphery of your circle and then give OK. Again, you just give OK onto the circle itself. Right? Then you'll get uh, object like this, the dimension line. Similarly, for other uh, dimension lines also, select the dimension line. Center. Same thing. So we have to do some uh, changes. I'll tell you for the width. Stop it here. Now, uh, if you look into the manual, so the dimension which is given here is arrow-headed dimension. So here we don't have such arrow heads. So we need to remove uh, such arrow heads. Okay. So for that, uh, you just select the uh, this arrow line, the dimension line. So the arrow size is one mm. Here, under the arrow type, you just select the dot. Okay, see now the arrow is changed into dot. No, all other things. So we don't, since it is not an arrow head, we don't want to use this extension line and extension overshoot. Okay. Then, font size is 5 mm. And other thing is, show unit is fonts. Now, here we have uh, mentioned with radius 40. So here is just 40. So we need to uh, edit the text. For that, we have in property override. So there, if you just click it in the option, you can have, you can completely override with R40. Then give OK, Enter. OK, so this is how we need to convert this into such dimension. So once I do all other uh, circles, then we can do at a time. So only thing is we need to do individually this overriding, but all other uh, rest of the changes we can do by using, uh, by selecting everything at a time. So again, dimension line. Now select all the dimension lines at a time. Or else you can do individually also, not a problem. So I'll 
make it this arrow size one ml arrow type into dot and then want to size five ml show unit false okay now you can do it individually uh, rest of the things so i'll select this so go to text override r21 and you enter select this 32 text override r32 enter select this text override r20 select this text override r10 select this text override r16 so here it is uh, below you just give flip option then text override r uh, 8 now we need to give dimension for this. So change this um, type. Dot. Fine. Twenty four. So, and then width, yeah, for so dimension. Width, at the size for minimum. So we can even uh, the arrow size will give 0. 0.5. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so almost we have got a similar, uh, or else uh, we have reproduced the same. The drawing. So see, we have. Uh, we have reproduced everything then we need to uh, type this all dimensions are in ml so for that you can use the text option so you can create here below then you can write text here all dimensions are in ml then create text. See, it is uh, in smaller form. You just select this, then increase the text height. That is, I'll give five ml. Right? So, even five is not enough, means you can give seven. Yeah. So this is how we need to uh, draw this problem. So now this one, we have to convert this into PDF to submit as an assignment. So to do that, first we need to uh, make sure this drawing should be fit in the workbench. So for that, you have an option called fits the whole content on the screen. So click that. So automatically it will be fit here. Okay. Now then go to file option. In the bottom, you have export PDF. So click that. 
now select any one directory where you want to save so i will giving some file name as uh, free cat uh, demo and save now we will check whether it has uh, converted into pdf or not yeah so this is how yeah we have uh, reproduced the the drawing which is uh, given in the man right so i hope that uh, you have understand the uh, tools how to use to reproduce this drawing so in your case so in the text option you need to uh, give your id number and name then you have to convert into as a pdf right so if your drawing is uh, deviated from uh, the actual drawing which is given in the manual so subsequent marks will be reduced So that's all that's it for the uh, regarding your first exercise thank you